What's happening guys and welcome to Fishing Planet. In this video I am going to be showing you guys two great fishing spots and where you can catch fish consistently. Up on the screen we've got this setup chaps. All the details are on the left hand side there if you want to pause it. And the spoon I'm going to be using today is the medium red tiger. It's a killer spoon. We're going to start off with this one. So nature's charming hardcore, that's the peg we want. Did you notice the weather forecast? I am not fishing in the peak time. When you get in the peak time, it's even better. So this is not in the fishing peak time. I'm going to cast out. I might need to replace my line. As you can see, my line's getting a bit worn down there on the right-hand side there. When it comes up, you'll see I'm on about 43% on my fishing line. Um, cast out. You will need enough line on your reel to reach out there, guys. There's a little stone, but we'll cover that in a bit. And we look at that bang straight away. We are in. Now you do have to watch when you're reeling in from a, from that distance. Occasionally, you will get the fish coming swimming straight at you, a little bit like a torpedo. So you do have to make sure that your line, the tension on your line is tight. Otherwise, you will uh, you will lose the fish. But look at that straight away, straight away. Would you believe it? We got one. There we go, cutthroat trout, $121, we'll put that in the net. So let's cast out, I think I'm going behind the stone this time, we'll go behind the stone. Or rock. 237 feet, I've just cast it out, if it's in feet. I think it's in feet. Could be your odds, I don't know. <laughs> but you can see in the bottom right hand corner how far I actually cast it out. And we'll reel it in. Stop and go on the drop. Sometimes we get them just on the drop. I do stop and go and then straight slow. There, have we got one? No, I think that's the weed. I casted past the rock that time. And I think there is a, a patch of weed. Um past the rock and I think that's what I just got caught in that in there I'll just speed the reel up a little bit to get the spoon in the middle and we'll just do stop and go and straight slow just vary you vary your retrieve and experiment and you will you will get them look at that we are in and this is and yet again another fish Now I'm lucky enough to have the Fish Cabin M Plus Keep Net which enables me to get plenty of fish to cover the travelling costs on all the lakes I've been on so far. If I don't cover the travelling costs on the first day I most definitely cover the travelling costs on the second day. This one we will cover the travelling costs on the first day. Look at that. Cutthroat Trout, 163 coins. We give him a kiss and we chuck him in the net. Alright, let's have another go. We'll go. Shall we go in front? Let's try and pick that stone off. There is a stone out. There's the stone there. Did you see it then? There it is. I'm going to, we'll cast just in front of the stone this time. Like I say, you can go to the left, to the right, just in front or behind the, uh, or in the area behind the stone. And you will catch fish consistently we're not in the peak time at the moment we're not in the peak time and we're catching fish stop i'm doing stop and go on the drop it's gone down to the bottom and i shall increase my real speed to get my spoon approximately in the middle and bang we're in bingo look at that Every single cast so far has produced a fish. Now, it won't always be like this. Every single cast won't produce a fish. Um, but this is a good area. Don't give up on this area. If you're not catching 
make sure you're in the peak time just for the video today I've started this not in the peak time and uh, we are actually catching at 44 Fahrenheit and on a cloudy day and it's not in the peak time 5.38 a.m. so far I'm on day two of fishing here at Falcon Lake looks like a brown trout lovely jubbly give him a kiss put him in the net 259 coins very nice now if you're lucky you will get the occasional um, trophy trophy trout from here possibly the unique I haven't had them very often but they will show up and um, but you know it's consistency it's catching fish consistently that fills your net and at the end of the day you want to be coming away with a profit because if you're not coming away with a profit from the lakes um, you're losing coins and this whole game is based upon micro transactions so you need to be making profit really from your fishing most importantly and um, you do need a good keep net a good uh, a good keep net or, or stringer to keep your fish in or on so let's try again you can see the retrieve I'm using and at the top right hand corner there we'll go straight and slow now if you don't catch them at the stone the area where the stone is and what we've been working where we've been roughly casting to don't give up because you've got the whole length you got the whole length of the lake to work that spoon so vary your vary your retrieve that's what I do I do a combination of straight and slow and stop and go and don't give up that oh, oh we had a little one there something went for it we're nearly we're nearly in now we're so close to the uh, to the bank but don't give up we've caught every cast are we going to catch are we going to catch this cast hopefully we will I'm not going to give up because you can get them from right underneath your feet there we go bang look at that rainbow trout 163 coins we'll chuck him in the net so you in fact not only you work the top up there we'll cast further back this time just past just just past, where is the stone there's the stone let's go where, where should we have a try there's no sweet spot anywhere around this area and you'll pick them off let's go to the right of it so you see I, I work the whole length of the lake here the whole length of it so if I don't get one off up here which is not a bad area where I've just casted to I've got the rest of the lake as I bring the spoon to me to hopefully catch one we caught a bang we're in look at that we've caught we've we're actually catching them today on every single cast look at that now like I say this game is based upon microtransactions and it's it's got a coin based system so to come here I can't actually remember how much it was to come here I'm, I think it might have been 5,000 coins uh, I'm not too sure but for those of you whom have only got a small keep net you probably well in fact you're going to probably you will have to do more than one day's fishing here to cover your costs so if you don't cover your costs on day one you don't manage it on day two keep going and keep going until you've at least got the cost back of your trip and you need really to be coming away with a bit of profit because if you aren't coming away with profit the game's beating you you've got to come away from profit on every single fishing trip because if you aren't you're losing doesn't matter if you're catching fish if you're not catching in profit and you're losing look at that we've got another brown trout I think we had one <laughs> we had one previously I can't remember I've caught that many fish now but we'll give him a kiss and we'll put him in the net you've got to come away with profits all the time off every trip otherwise you're losing coins there's the stone we're working 
the area around that stone, just a small radius around that stone. I have had them in the margins. You can see a bit of a log. I have cast it out to that in the distance and in the margins as well. And I have had them anywhere in that general area. I thought I got one then. I thought a little nibble. There we go. Look at that. Now I am using the medium spoon. You can see see the medium spoon in the top right hand corner there. Tiger Red, I think it is. I have had success on the uh, on the narrow purple spoon and the black spoon as well. Um, I've had equal success on them particular spoons here. There we go. There's another one. Cutthroat trout. It's all money at the end of the day. All money. general area where that stone is there's the stone there's a big rock um, to the right of it as well and cast back out I've actually hit the rock <laughs> I hit the rock that time oh dear let's try again Anywhere in this general area, to the left, to the right of that stone, to the margins, and be slightly behind it. Um, you know, the small, the the raid, um, you know, like a ten yard, ten even a twenty yard radius, perhaps around that stone, as uh, or maybe a ten yard radius around that stone has produced fish. Generally on the uh, on the drop on the stop and go drop. Now we've not got one this time, so I'm going to work the rest of the lake as I'm bringing this in now, um, varying my retrieve to try and get a fish. So it's a combination of stop and go and straight and slow. You've just got to experiment, and uh, you will pick a fish off. So there you go. Look at that. Bingo another one so every single cast so far I've been lucky enough today every single cast here has produced a fish for me you have to watch the line you see how the line the tension of the line then went slack you do have to be very quick to tighten that up and sometimes you have to you have to lift your rod back so you're pressing, if you're using the joy pads, you're pressing the left trigger as though you're striking in the fish to quickly tighten your line back up as you're reeling it in because sometimes the fish will swim straight towards you, you will lose tension on the line and you will lose the fish. So you just have to be aware of that if you're a beginner. Um, that can happen on you. There we go, what have we got? It's another brown trout, 291 coins, coming in at just over four pounds. Slap him in the net. Look at that. So, let's have a quick look in the fish keeper. So far, that's what we've earned so far. 1,800. Over 1,800 coins so far. We've nearly covered our traveling costs. And I'm not even in the peak time. There we go. That's the peak time. Midday. So let's have another cast. There's the stone. As I mentioned before, make sure you've got enough line on your reel to reach out there. I'm on eight pound floral line. I'm going to do the stop and go on the drop. It sometimes produces a fish straight away. I'll do the stop and go right down to the bottom. When I get to the bottom, I will uh, speed speed my reel up to uh, get get the uh, get the spoon approximately back in the middle, and uh, do the straight slow at the moment, and a little bit of uh, stop and go to try and produce a fish 
on the on the retrieve on the way back because we didn't get one up there we're not we didn't catch one up there so now we're trying to catch a fish on the retrieve something had a little nibble then I'm varying the retrieve, stop and go, straight and slow, that's what I'm currently working. We might not, oh, there we go, we got one, virtually from under his feet. See, if you don't catch him up the top there, you've got the whole of the lake to work, bringing them into you. As you bring the spoon back, should I say, you've got the whole of the lake to work. It's a nice spot. It's a spot that you can come to with confidence that you are going to catch. If you're not catching, you're doing something wrong. Maybe your line's too heavy. You've got something, you know, you've got 20 pound line on. Maybe you're not picking the fish off as much with 20 pound line. It's a line I wouldn't use on this lake. I, the, the maximum line I use on this lake is eight pound. I've never had my line snapped yet on eight pound line. Not yet. There we go. It's another brown trout, 266 coins. Coming in at just under four pounds. We give him a kiss. We stick him in the net. It's all profit, profit, profit. Money, money, money. Every cast so far. Every single cast. So there you go, guys. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. <laughs> I don't want to keep going on. I'm just casting and casting and catching and catching and catching. Give this a go if you're struggling. If you're new to Falcon Lake, this is a hot area. A hot area. And um, you will catch fish from here. If you go back to the beginning of the video and you pause it, you can see my setup that I'm using. Um... Well, which will be on the left hand side and if you haven't got the the that equipment then you can you know you can you can go and purchase that and have confidence that with this rod reel and line you will and this spoon you will catch fish if at first you don't succeed try try again i'm not in the fish i'm not fishing the peak time you saw that in the peak time that is generally when you will catch the fish, but today we're not in the peak time and we're, and we're still catching fish. And remember, you need to uh, cover your costs. So if, you, if, you, if you're new up here at Falcon Lake and you've only got a small keep net, you're probably going to have to do more in one day. If you don't cover your costs in one day, do two days, do three days, do four days, even do seven days until you've covered your cost. And if you're not catching, you can fast forward the times to the peak times. Just make sure you cover your costs else the game's going to beat you. And this is the first time we not caught one, Look, <laughs> See, it doesn't work all the time. We not caught one. Just for the record, let's have one more cast. In the general area up there, there's the stone. Go to the left, go to the right, slightly in front of it. Go to the left-hand side in the margins. You will, you will get the fish if you work that area up there. Experiment, and you will, you will get them. You will pick them off. Stop and go. You get there. You go. Bang. We're in. <laughs> Most importantly, if you are using the eight-pound line that I'm using, don't have your tension set too high. Don't have it set too high, and don't have it set too low. Particularly on this reel I'm using. If you look at mine, that's round about the sweet spot. I'm not um, because sometimes when you hit them, if you've got that tension up too high, it will actually it will snap your line. So just be aware of that. Um, don't put too much strain on your eight pound line. So look out for future videos, chaps, where I will show you the hot spots that I. Um, succeeded on in the lakes that I've uh, found that have worked for me 151 it's a cutthroat trout um, in the next video I'll show you another hot spot on this lake so thanks for watching chaps